throw this in here. Uh, Freemasonry, for some reason, and I think I get it, is linked with the religion of Islam. There is a whole section of, uh, of, of uh, Freemasonry that it, it's called Shriner Masonry. Okay? Um, Gerald Ford was a Shriner Mason. Anyway, uh, that there's, there's a link together, and it's probably because they're both referring to this exact same spirit of Antichrist that is going to rise up in the last days and create a new world order. Now, on the 44th day of the year, we have Lady Gaga. And at the Grammy Awards. And, I, and, and, and just in case you're just kind of iffy on this thing, okay? Rock and roll is still the devil's music, okay? It still is, okay? Uh, so anyway, and I'm going to show you a few clips. I'm going to show you a few images. I'm not going to show you a lot. A Lady Gaga doesn't dress how I would want my wife or daughters to dress, okay? She, I mean, she just, uh, anyway, she's, she's not very nice. And so anyway, I'm going to show you a few clips. I'm going to show you a few uh, I images of it. But the whole idea was, you see Lady Gaga. In fact, let me read the, uh, the news headline here. A star is hatched. Lady Gaga bursts out of a giant egg on Grammy stage after her dramatic red carpet uh, entrance. And so you see the imagery there. Now, she was brought in. Uh, she was brought in this giant egg. And I want you to notice the apparatus by which she was brought in. We're going to be looking at the symbolism, not only of this egg, but the apparatus that brought her in. And notice the headline here, I was in the egg for 72 hours. In fact, here is, a, here is an interview that Lady Gaga herself did. Now, I want you to notice something about this. Okay, Lady Gaga, and she is like the, the, the master, or let's see, the mistress of weirdness. Okay? Uh, always with the clothing and the makeup and everything like that. Uh, she is Madonna on steroids, all right? Uh, I want you to notice her facial features, okay? But she's talking about, in this, in this interview with CNN, she's talking about how long she was in this egg. Take a listen. How long were you in the egg? I was in there for three days. <laughs> three days I was I was Viva glamming for three whole days and you know it, because I wanted to have a rebirth and mm -hmm. I think the universe needs to have a rebirth I think we all need to be inside a vessel for three whole days thinking about how we can love ourselves more she was inside of the, according to her now, I don't know how true this is, but she apparently wants everyone to at least think or believe that she was inside of this egg and she stayed in there for three days. Now, the, the symbolism of that is highly, highly important because if you remember in this interview, she talks about the, uh, she needed a rebirth and that the universe needs a rebirth. Now, I want to stop right here. This goes back to the great seal of the United States of America. It says on the $1 bill, Anuit Coeptus Novus Ordo Seclorum, which means he favors the birth or favors, favors the undertaking or favors the birth of a new world order. And that's exactly what she said. The universe needs a rebirth. She needed a rebirth. And we're going to deal with this theme of rebirth or resurrection and what this egg has to do with it. We're going to be looking at the symbolism of all of this. Now I want to go to an interview. Uh, and by the way, let me show you this. Lady Gaga, I smoke a lot of pot when I write music. Uh, in an interview with 60 Minutes, Lady Gaga admitted that she turned to whiskey and weed when she needs to get inspired. I smoke a lot of pot when I write music and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for 60 minutes, the singer said in a profile that aired Sunday. I drink a lot of whiskey and I smoke weed when I write. I don't do it a lot because it's not good for my voice. It's not good for your soul either. Let me read, let me read something out of the scripture here that might explain a little bit about this. Revelation chapter 17, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. 
And I want you to know this. In, in verse 4, the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Now, I don't know if you've seen, and, and hopefully you haven't. If you haven't, you're not missing anything. In fact, I was doing a preaching a, 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 a teen camp last summer, and I mentioned uh, Lady Gaga, and one lady said, who is Lady Gaga? And I said, thank God that you don't know who this woman is, because she dresses very provocatively. Her, her videos are, I mean, they're very, very racy. The things that she enacts in her videos are just absolutely, she is a representative Presentation of mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And she has this cup in her hand full of the wine of her fornication. So here is Lady Gaga admitting that she that she gets high, that she drinks whiskey in order to write the songs that she is writing. By the way, the song that she uh, debuted here at the Grammy Awards, I was looking at the lyrics uh, today and I, and I decided not to really go into it. it was, it's, a, it's a new song that she's coming out with called Born This Way. And so you have the whole imagery of the egg and being born and things like that. And I want you to think about that. Uh, but this idea of born this way, she basically wrote it as sort of an anthem for everybody that's queer, uh, transvestite, whatever. And I know I'm not using the politically correct terms. It's okay. I'll use the I'll use the term sodomite because that's what the Bible uses. But that is sort of an anthem for people that oh, I was just born this way. And so anyway, so she admits that she smokes pot, that she drinks a lot of whiskey, that she that when she her inspiration comes. In a drunken state. Now, I could probably stop right here and spend a lot of time dealing with what's going on inside the church right now with the, um, the charismania that's being poured out, this drunken spirit that's coming upon all of these prophets and quote unquote apostles and all these people in sit, sitting inside churches that are now drunk in the spirit, or even the issue of contemplative prayer, because that in itself is a form of spiritual drunkenness. And everybody says, Oh, I, I can find God in side of there when I do that. That's not, you're, you're not finding the real God. I'm telling you, you're not, the real God, you want to know where the real God is? He's right here in this book. Read this book and you'll know, you'll know more about God than you can remember. I promise you that. So anyway, we know where her inspiration is coming from. And so everybody's watching Lady Gaga and you know, here she comes out and she's in this egg and it's on this little apparatus here and these weird people are carrying in and you know, she's got horns. She grew horns. She's, she's had something done to her, and she grew horns. Now, I'm going to show you an interview uh, the night of the Grammys, uh, CNN did, with the lady that designed this, this whole scheme that Lady Gaga does when she comes out and, and sings this song. I want you to listen to what she's saying. She's going to be, you're going to hear her talk about birthing a, a new race. You remember Joel's army and uh, Todd Bentley? They're part of what they call this new breed theology that they're going to be these supermen, these superheroes in Christianity. And their goal, Dominion Theology, their goal is to take over the kingdom, take over the world, take over everything, bring everything together so that they can then give it to uh, Jesus when he comes back. That's what Dominion Theology is. Now remember that I said that because... We're going to see something here a little bit later on. But this whole idea of transhumanism is about a new breed, man's next step of evolution. And so here, the inspiration behind all of this talks about birthing a new race, bringing in a new breed. Uh, a, a new breed. She says we must incubate in order to have the DNA changed. She believes that Lady Gaga has a calling. And listen to what she says about the message of what's going on here. Watch the video and take a listen. The inspiration came out of that brilliant record that she wrote, Born This Way. And what's actually happening, as you saw the vessel, is that she's incubating. And it was necessary to incubate her for a certain amount of time because tonight she's actually birthing a new race. We're birthing a new race that uh, doesn't have the ability to hate or judgment in their DNA. So she's actually incubating right now. So she goes through that process. And um, it's really happening. We're birthing a new race tonight. So she